Hello, are we still at high school? This is Mr. Carrick. We're going to talk about class offerings and what our course selection is going to look like for next year. Uh, we're going to break this up a little bit over these next couple of days. Today, we're looking at our core content. When we say core content, we mean math, English, science, and social studies classes. We're going to look at the courses that are required for graduation, a couple of the normal common pathways, and then also discuss elective options in each of these core content areas. We're going to start by looking at our English department. So in our English department, uh, you need four credits for graduation. You know those. They're English 1, 2, 3, and 4. You can substitute some courses for your English 3 and English 4 credits. Uh, you could take AP English Language. That's advanced placement where you can earn college credit. AP English Literature or also dual enrollment English uh, where you're taking classes at Trident Tech or Trident Tech classes here. Um, to earn college credit. So those are some substitutes for that normal pathway, but most students take that English one, two, three, four track. There are some elective offerings in the English department as well that we wanna make sure you're aware of. The first is our teacher cadets program. Teacher cadets is an advanced class for um, folks that are interested in education or the education profession, becoming a teacher. Um, there is field experience required and you can also earn college credit for that. So if you are interested in pursuing a career in education, you're a high achieving student, you can also earn those college credits through that teacher cadet program for students in their junior or senior year. Creative writing is an elective course that you can just express yourself in a variety of different writing formats. So if you enjoy someone who in, enjoys writing or, or um, likes to express themselves through writing, creative writing may be a great elective class for you. Theater, if you love to be on stage, love to perform, love to uh, be involved in uh, different types of theater, uh, you, this is a new offering for us this year, so we're looking forward to seeing this program grow. If you have interest in theater, please sign up for that theater class for next year. Uh, leadership class, that is worked through, um, Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy and Miss Russell. Uh, it, it attempts to tackle problems either in the school or community and just demonstrate good general all-around leadership. So you have great skills that can be honed and refined through the leadership course. Uh, if you're interested in pursuing that, that's something that sounds interesting to you. We love to see leaders, all different types of leader, leaders, student council leaders, athletic leaders, student organizations, uh, leadership all around the school will be wonderful represented to develop and grow your leadership. We are offering some new uh, elective literature courses this year uh, that we're excited about. We have four in a sequence that I'm gonna put up here. Uh, each of them are gonna count for a half credit. So you would pick any two of these four credits that could fill in uh, a, a block in your schedule. African American literature is one of those courses. Latin X literature. Graphic novels and manga. And young adult literature with feminine with a feminine lens. So those are four uh, new courses for us that we would do in a quarter class, so a quarter one and then a quarter of another throughout a semester. So again, African American literature, Latinx literature, graphic novels and manga, and young adult literature with a feminine lens. So we'll have some promo videos coming for those courses, just so you can see a little bit more about what those are about. Looking at our math department, our graduation requirements for math, uh, two different tracks to initiate are either foundations of algebra and intermediate algebra followed by geometry and then getting one additional math credit or other students might have followed a track of algebra one geometry algebra two and then additional math course after algebra two so those other classes beyond uh Geometry and Algebra 2. For a four-year college-bound student, Algebra 2 would be that track you'd want to take. And beyond Algebra 2, you could take Algebra 3, which is like a college-level algebra, pre-calculus, AP calculus, and also an elective ACT prep course if you're just wanting to get those SAT, ACT scores improved prior to getting to college. There's also a two-year college-bound or career-bound track um, and that could pursue after geometry, probability and statistics, or discrete mathematics. Um, also, that can be uh, taken anytime after uh, that other sequence as well. So Algebra 2, Algebra 3, those two courses are great um, and utilized in most college tracks as well. 
Um, some of those course descriptions for us, Algebra 2 and Algebra 3, like I said, uh, those are going to pursue higher level algebraic skills, definitely required for students attending four-year colleges. Algebra 3, again, maybe um, that continuing that math preparation for a four-year university. If you have uh, uh, either are going to an engineering, uh, medical school, uh, um, What's the other one I was thinking? Any type of physics background, you'll definitely want to go into that pre-calculus uh, pathway. That's going to be something you're going to see in college. Uh, so after Algebra 2, pre-calculus, and then moving on to calculus would be a great uh, track to take. The other track is looking at discrete or probability and statistics. There's a couple descriptions there about what you would experience in either of those two courses, trying to decide which math would be the right fourth math credit for you. And like we said, on that pre-cal track, if you're really interested, particularly engineers out there, future physicians, uh, looking at pursuing a, a track in calculus um, may be the route for you, especially if you got algebra before you even got to high school, you should be able to track out in your senior year, be ready to take that advanced placement calculus, earn that college credit uh, before you graduate. Looking at our science program, you require three sciences to graduate from high school. Uh, one of those that is defined is biology. So you need biology plus two other lab sciences. Typically, we'll take that biology course in the 10th grade. Beyond biology, you need credits for a four-year college-bound student. Chemistry uh, is required by most universities. Uh, and then beyond chemistry, going into AP biology, AP environmental science, honors anatomy and physiology, or honors physics. For our students beyond bi biology in a two-year college or career bound track, looking at marine science, environmental science, or forensics science. So looking at AP environmental science, again, starting with that track out, out of, uh, um, for a college bound track, advanced placement, earning those college credits. Uh, this is a great class to take maybe your first advanced placement class, uh, did well in biology, enjoy sciences, AP environmental science may be the right course for you. Um, so take a look at some of those notes there and consider advanced placement environmental science. There also is environmental science CP, uh, which would be an elective course you could take after completing biology. If you're wondering about how humans interact with the world around them, environmental science is a great course to look into more. Honors physics, if you're in that calculus, physics, engineering mindset, honors physics beyond chemistry would be a great class. Uh, architects, engineers, doctors, nurses, pharmacists, great class for you guys. Uh, so check out that honors physics course prior to um, you guys going on to a four-year college. Marine science, discovering and learning about things, all things uh, centering around the ocean. Um, that is an elective science you can take after a completion of biology as well. So check out marine science if that interests you. We have a great kind of natural uh, laboratory around us here in Charleston. Honors human and anatomy uh, is a class obviously focused on the human body. Definitely if any of you guys are interested in health sciences or uh, medicine, uh, human anatomy and physiology, a great course for you guys to look into. Uh, again, something you should look at, at at the honors level beyond completion of chemistry or honors chemistry. Forensic science uh, is kind of like your CSI. So if you're interested in learning about uh, the science behind uh, investigations, um, anything from uh, crimes, documentaries, serial killers, they'll talk about all kinds of really interesting stuff in there. So check that out if you're interested in forensic science for your third lab science in high school. AP Biology, again, I would encourage this for a uh, top tier student that's looking at getting into um, um, a career in medicine or anything that is heavy in the sciences, a pure science career, AP Biology, an excellent course. Um, that's just kind of a continuation at a deeper collegiate level of the biology curriculum. And last of our core subjects, looking at our social studies department, your graduation requirements in social studies. Uh, every student must earn a credit of US history, a half credit of economics, and a half credit of US government. We have a variety of other social studies courses that you could elect to take to get that third social studies credit. You need three in order to graduate. That could be any one of the following modern world history, human geography. Some of you guys already earned that credit known as world geography, uh, law education, current events, 
or quarter classes, psychology, sociology that are paired together. Human geography typ typically taken in the ninth grade. Uh, that's going to be CP honors or AP level human geography. Our modern world history is typically our 10th grade social studies course. Again, CP honors, and that also is available in advanced placement, which means you can earn those college credits for AP modern world history. Uh, U.S. history, one of those requirements we mentioned for all students must have this one to graduate from high school. CP honors or AP. And then U.S. government, learning about the government. Uh, it's a half credit for CP and honors, a full credit for students taking it at the advanced, advanced placement level. And then our economics, typically the other half of your government course, and that's at honors and CP levels only. Just a note on our advanced placement courses, if you think that that may be a good fit for you, looking for students that are making an 80% or above, so a B or higher in your current honors social studies class, or if you're in CP and think that that may be a good challenge for you, should probably be making an A in a CP level class if you'd like to take the jump up to AP and earning a college credit. We have five AP offerings in social studies, AP Human Geography, AP Modern World History, AP US History, AP Government and Politics, and then AP European History will be offered as a semester, second semester AP course if you've already um, earned an AP US History or AP Modern World History credit. And, and we haven't mentioned this up to this point, but if you're passing, we said you can get college credit, typically a score of a three, four, or five on a five point scale will earn you that college credit in any of these advanced placement classes that we've discussed today. So we've got the other elective courses that are taken. So you choose to uh, uh, take any of these other ones that will count for a third credit, or you can just take these as elective credits for yourself. Law education for 10th through 12th graders, current events, talking about the current uh, political and social studies uh, topics of the day, sociology, a half credit, and that can pair with a half credit of psychology. So that's our core classes. I uh, will follow up tomorrow. We're gonna to talk about our career technology education classes, um, our Cooper River Center for Advanced Studies. So there'll be more information to come on those. So this was just covering our four core classes, what's right for you. Keeping in mind that idea of if I'm making a, a, an A or a B, um, maybe I should challenge myself from a CP level to an honors level or an honors level to an AP level. So keep up the great work, keep working hard and uh, build yourself up to that college readiness. So this is the conclusion of our, our um, core class discussion. We'll pick up with some more electives tomorrow. Thank you. Today is a great day to be a warrior.